there's no one way to simplify expressions with rational exponents or exponents in general, but let's use the properties of exponents and simplify this guy. Oh boy! If you have the same base and you're multiplying, what are you going to do to their exponent, Adam? We're going to have 3 fourths plus 5 eighths. Great, wait, now I need a common denominator and I get it. Don't stop, get it, get it. I need to multiply that by a deuce over a deuce, so that's a six eighths. Yeah, six eighths is the same as three fourths. Plus five eighths, great, wait. Now that I got a common denominator, I can add their numerator, that's two to the 11 eighths. Great. And since they gave it to me in exponents, I'm gonna give it back to them in exponents. <laughs> But yeah, your book might want you to convert it back to roots. Let's convert this one over here. Oh boy. Now, you can several step it, because there ain't no just one way, but I'm gonna say that that's A! Da -da, da -da. That's to the minus two ninths. I don't know why they put nines and A's in the same expression, because nines are just A's with long hair. I know! Oh, that's a minus two ninths. Now, if it's in the denominator, it's minus three ninths. If it's in the denominator, it's minus a minus seven ninths. Yeah, yeah. So then, that shouldn't have been white. You might think it belongs to that, but it doesn't. So that's a to the, whew, minus two ninths minus three ninths plus seven ninths since they all have that common denominator that's a minus five plus seven so then that's a to the two ninths haircut <laughs> Woo. What's next? We're down over here. Oh, make it rain, make it rain. So you got a power raised to a power, so you multiply. Let me put that step in there. Sure, I don't want to step any skips. This is x to the one half to the 10, then s, yes. Two fits to the 10, and then that's all over x squared. I'm gonna take it right down here. Power raised to a power you multiply. So that's x to the 5. Why? Because 1 half times 10. What's half of 10? It's 5 times. Whoa, whoa there. Half of 10 is, ooh, a fifth of 10 is 2. And a 2 times a 2 is a 4. Sure. So that's x to the 4 all over x to the deuce. And although you think you're done, no, they lied! Uh, uh, you're a three, because you had two x's on the bottom and five x's on top. The top wins, and that's x to the third, s to the fourth. Uh, box and flower. What's next? Ah, oh, a radical example. Well, I could convert those into radicals, but I don't want to. What do I do? I do want to. Ooh, ooh. Distribute that in there because that's a product on a sum. You use the distributive property of multiplication over addition. So that's a 2a to the 5 thirds times a to the 5 thirds negative. Ha ha! Plus 2 to a to the 5 thirds times a to the minus 2 thirds. Oh, we already got common denominators. Oh boy! So that's 2a to the what is, can you see? Yeah, you can see. So what is 5 thirds minus 5 thirds? Oh, it's nothing, 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 nothing. So then that's 2a to the Hmm, three thirds? Because five minus two is three? Finish him. I think I gotta get you over here. Mm. So that's two times anything to the zero power is one. Leave it alone. And then that's two. Hey, dun -dun, dun -dun. Yeah, and you don't write the one. Ah, ah. Box and flower. Sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. <laughs>